Hi, I'm Pinquin402, aka Taylor, and today I'm going to be doing a video about uh, superhero movies or comic book movies that you should watch during uh, the quarantine. And uh, I just want to say before I begin, hold on, my hair right there. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to apologize for not having any videos up in over a year. I've been, like, really busy with work and life and stuff. And also, like, back in 2018, I my dad had rotator cuff surgery, so I was helping around the house and doing that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Been just really busy. And, yeah. So... And right now I'm being quarantined, not because I have COVID-19, but because I, uh, because Oklahoma, we have a, uh, kind of like a, it's like a stay-at-home order, but it's not a stay-at-home order. It's just like a safer at-home order. So if you're one of the vulnerable populations, you should, you should just stay at home. But also, uh, all the kids in, uh, in the schools, because I work in an after-school program, all the kids in Oklahoma aren't going to school, public school kids aren't going to school, they're uh, doing homeschooling, remote school, whatever you would call it, remote learning, and I, and when the kids aren't in the classroom, I'm not working, so, yeah, but let's, let, let me just stop talking about that, and let's just uh, begin with the movies, the superhero comic book movies you should watch during quarantine. While, while being quarantined. And I also want to say I apologize, but these are no Marvel movies are in this bunch. I'm not a Marvel fan. Never have been. I mean, I kind of did like Hulk a little bit growing up, but not really. That was just like if someone asked me who my favorite superhero was, I'd just say Hulk because he looked the coolest. But I'm not a Marvel fan. I'm a DC fan. So these are all DC movies. So, yeah. Uh, so, my first one is a movie that I saw at the theaters with my best friend. Shout out to her. Whoa, what, what? <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. Uh, shout out to my best friend. Uh, we saw this, like, the day after Christmas, and it was awesome, and I was like, I want to see this movie again. It was so good, and I don't know if I'll be able to get in the shot, but Aquaman. Aquaman is awesome. If you have not seen Aquaman, you need to see Aquaman right now because it is that good. I love this movie so much. Jason Momoa does an awesome job at being Aquaman. And what can I say? He kind of made Aquaman cool for people because I remember uh, before he was Aquaman... People would hate on Aquaman saying, oh, how aqu how stupid Aquaman is. Now everyone loves Aquaman, or not everyone, but a lot of people love Aquaman. It took Jason Momoa to become Aquaman. I'm like, no, I loved him before, before he became Aquaman. I loved Aquaman before Jason Momoa was Aquaman. And it's just really good. The music is awesome in this movie. And if you have not seen this movie, you need to see it. It is so good. And it's one of those non-Batman movies that's, that's actually really good. Because a lot of people, they have their issues with DC. And they think, like, the only good movie is... A, the only good, like, DC movie is Batman. Batman, like, that's what people tend to think. And this one kind of made people love DC again, I guess. I don't know, but I love this movie. Yeah, and, 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 uh, what's her face? I, I know her name. Let me check really quick. Uh, uh, I know her name. Uh, Nicole Kidman is in this movie, and if you're a fan of Nicole Kidman or you're a fan of Keith Urban, Highly recommend this movie. 
great. Watch it. Watch it again and again and over and over again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can find it on Netflix and Hulu. I just have, like, the Blu-ray version because I don't have Netflix or Hulu. I wish I did, though, so I could watch Fuller House and Stranger Things and Designated Survivor the third season. Because I've seen the other two seasons, but not the third season. Next movie on my list is Shazam! This movie was really good, but it was kind of slow to get into. So, if you like those type of movies that are kind of slow to get into, I highly recommend this one. And, uh, Zachary Levi, who I used to call Zachary Levy. Don't ask me why, but I did. He does a great job in this movie, and it's hilarious. And if you're looking for, like, a good comedy uh, superhero movie other than Deadpool or Deadpool 2... Highly recommend this one. So, there's not much to say about it. It's just really good and kind of idiotic at times, and but it's, like, still pretty good. I didn't see it when it came out in the theaters because my uh, best friend was uh, way in college and uh, were, I was working, and then my dad, he's not a huge superhero fan, superhero movie fan, so... Didn't really have anyone to go with, and it's no fun to go to a movie by yourself. So, yeah. My next movie I have on this list, I also did not see this one when it came out to the theaters because my dad did not want to go see it. And, yeah. So, I didn't get to see it, and... Uh, but I do recommend this movie, and that is... And I forgot to bring another movie I recommend, but... I uh, forgot to bring it up, but I'll let you know what it is. Uh, this one, Wonder Woman. I love Wonder Woman. I'm a big Wonder Woman fan. I'm also a big Aquaman fan as well, but Wonder Woman is just amazing. She's she's just this w super awesome superhero. One of the very first female superheroes, and she's just a like a awesome Amazonian warrior princess. And this is kind of like the history of her, of her life. Not her life per se, but her, just the history of her, uh, becoming Wonder Woman and how she got into becoming Wonder Woman. And the cinematic scenes are amazing. And I'm still mad at the Oscars for not, uh, for not nominating her for Best Actress or or nominating the movie at all or even Patty Jenkins for the uh, directing because Patty Jenkins is the first director in history, first female director in history to direct a superhero movie. And oddly enough, it's a... Uh, it's a female superhero movie. So that's even better. So, yeah, props to Patty Jenkins. I love you. And I can't wait for Wonder Woman 1984. I'm going to see that or get it on Blu-ray or something for Christmas and watch it. Either way, I'm going to be watching it. I love Wonder Woman. And this kind of, like, restored people's faith in DC. This is the movie that started it. And it's just an awesome movie. If you've not seen it, highly recommend it. It's amazing. Uh, Chris Pine is in the movie. And P Chris Pine is awesome. And he's supposed to be in the new Wonder Woman 1984. He's supposed to be in that movie. And I'm so excited for it. And yeah. And also Gal Gadot looks amazing in this. I mean, I I love Linda Carter. And she's supposed to be in the, the Wonder Woman 1984 movie. Or so I've heard, and I'm looking forward to that because I love Linda Carter, and I think she's amazing Wonder Woman, but Gal Gadot get, did just as good of a job, if not better job, than Linda Carter did. So, yeah. My next movie I have is one, and it's my favorite movie, favorite Superman movie. I don't know if you can see. Uh, yeah, my favorite Superman movie. Ball time, a big Superman fan. If you have not, can't already tell because I have my Superman shirt on. Uh, but it's my favorite, and it's also Margot Kidder's favorite. Uh, when 
before she died, about a few years before she died, she did this, uh, she did this, like, convention, and it was, like, a Superman convention. I don't even know what the convention was, to tell you the truth. But someone asked her what her favorite su Superman movie was, and she said, Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut. I don't know if you can see it, but, yeah, it's Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut, and, yeah, there's a price tag on it. Who cares? This one is amazing. I love this movie because a lot of people may not know this, but Richard Donner was actually the original director for Superman 2. But the Salkines, who were the uh, producers at the time of Superman, the movie, and Superman 2, uh, decided that Richard Donner wasn't going to be right for Superman 2. He wasn't you be right for Superman 2. And he was already filming Superman 2 on top of filming Superman the movie. And so, they were like, he, they fired him. He had like 75% of the movie done. And they just fired him from Superman 2. And they brought in Richard Lester, who basically kept everything from what Richard Donner had directed. Kept all of that. And just added a few uh, other things. Added like a few, like, things and took out some things and this one is like so good I can't explain it it's just you have to see it if you have a chance if you can find it watch it you will be amazed it is so good I absolutely love this movie so much and it just it it made more sense, and there's like there's a scene in the movie. If you've seen it, you know what scene I'm talking about, where uh, Lois uh, realizes that he's Clark. I mean, realizes that Clark is Superman, and yeah, and it's an amazing scene, and just yeah, it's just so good, and I don't know what it is, but and and also they kept. In this one, they kept... Because if you saw the original Superman 2, the theatrical Superman 2 release of it, you know that... Uh, you know that Marlon Brando's not in it. But yet, if you watch this one... Spoiler alert! Marlon Brando is in it! jor, jor is in it! And it's like, I would hate to be Marlon Brando. I would hate to be Marlon Brando and... and or even... Uh, the other actors that were in that were in Richard Donner's cut of it, like I'd hate to be them and go and be like, oh, Mar oh, I'm oh, I'm in this movie, and then they go and tell their friends like, hey, go see Superman too, because I'm in that movie, and then they go to the premiere and for this movie, and they realize like, where am I at? Why am I not in this movie? And it's like that your part gets cut, and it's like. Uh, yeah, you probably still made mo money off of it. You probably still made some money, but that's not the point. You spent all that time filming it, and you're not even in the movie. I would be, like, really upset. So that's why I love Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut. Highly recommend it. If you can find it, buy it, watch it. You'll love it. My next one, you'll see four movies in this one, but I'm going to talk about just one, well, one of them. I might talk about two of them, but yeah. Uh, I'm talking about... Uh, Superman the movie. Superman the movie. I highly recommend Superman the movie. It is so good. It's one of the best Superman movies. Uh, not the best because Superman 2 Richard Donner cut is, but Superman the movie, it's, it's kind of slow to get into and it takes a while for him to actually get into the suit, but I love the backstory of it so much and I think Richard Donner did such a great job at just, uh, just directing it, and and I think Richard Donner should have just did all four of the Superman movies instead of just doing the first one, because he knew what he was doing, and yeah. But, what can you do? I mean, but, Superman the movie, that, was, that movie in particular, I don't know if I can get it back in the frame, but Superman the movie was actually the first, uh, Superman movie I saw, and that's what got me into Superman. I got into Superman the movie 
Got into Superman because of Superman the movie. And I started collecting comics, and I'm up to 40 Superman comics, so yeah. That, that's a lot in my in my book. But Superman the movie is just fantastic, and and it set up Smallville very, very well. And I know a lot of people, including myself, love Smallville. And because in Superman the movie, Smallville, uh, well, in Superman the movie, they show Smallville and they show Clark as a teenager, but there's not a whole lot of backstory to it. So it set up Smallville so much, so well. Yeah. And Christopher Reeve is the greatest Superman that ever of all time. I will fight you if you say George Reeves. I will fight you on uh, Henry Cavill. I do love Henry Cavill. We'll say that. I do love him. I will fight you on Dean Cain. I will fight you on uh, Tom Welling. Definitely on Tom Welling. I will fight you on that one. And I will fight you on Tyler Hoechlin. I will fight you on all of them. And I will say go back and watch the Superman movies with Christopher Reeve and you'll agree. Plus he... Plus... Like, when he had that accident, after he had that accident that made him quadriplegic, he thought about dying, he thought, well, he thought about killing himself, but he didn't because his wife told him, like, you have so much more to live for and you can, basically, you can walk again, we'll make sure you walk again. And so he was, like, determined to walk again, and he was able to just move one finger, but, and, but he ended up dying and he never got to walk again, but... But just to see the determination that he had to walk again is what made him Superman. And then last but not least, uh, I mentioned Henry Cavill earlier. Well, actually, I have another one after this one. But I mentioned Henry Cavill. Uh, Man of Steel. Man of Steel is really good. And it kind of restored Superman in a way that... Uh, they tried with Superman Returns, but it didn't happen. It failed. And and there's a reason why Brendan Ruth, or how do you pronounce his last name, why he's not Superman anymore is because of Superman Returns. And, and Man of Steel is the reason why Henry Cavill is still Superman and still plays, continue to play Superman. And it's just awesome. I have no other words to say, Man of Steel. And there's actually a scene in Man of Steel where where uh, Superman's flying up, Henry Cavill as Superman is flying up in the air, and you can see his face change from Christopher Reeve to uh, Henry Cavill, and it was just kind of like, like, even though Christopher Reeve was gone by this point, it was kind of Christopher Reeve giving his blessing, like, they were like, like, the director saying like, hey, uh, Christopher Reeve would give his blessing on this, and he he is now passing on the torch. It was kind of like passing the torch, and people have made so many videos about the passing of the torch uh, from Christopher Reeve to Henry Cavill, so I think that's pretty awesome. And also, like, Diane Lane is in this movie, and I love Diane Lane. She was in The Outsiders, which is one of my favorite movies, so yeah. And... Uh, Amy Adams is in this movie, which she's uh, great. So yeah, I highly recommend uh, Man of Steel. Watch it, watch it. I know people hated the ending, but in in my defense, and I will say in defense of the ending, what was Superman supposed to do? Was he supposed to let those those people die? It. I would rather, I, I'm glad that he did what he did, because I wouldn't want those people to die. So yeah. And then finally, last but simply not least, uh, I, last but simply not least, I actually, uh, paused this recording and was able to get this. Uh, I would have just walked with the camera, but I, or with my phone or whatnot, but I, my room is really messy right now, but the last movie I have... On this list. Uh, I forgot about it because I love the movie but the, but after you see Aquaman and stuff it just kind of like it's not as great as Aquaman and you kind of realize that like because Aquaman was kind of, it was kind of a sequel in a way. 
well, it was like a prequel to Aquaman in a way. I don't know how to explain it, but things that happen in Aquaman, yeah, it just, I don't know, but I'm still adding it onto my list, uh, Justice League. I know there are some people out there that did not like Justice League. I know people had their, their differences and comments about Henry Cavill and the CGI mustache. Like, the mustache, CGI removal of the mustache. But what, what were they supposed to do? Uh, Henry Cavill is working on Mission Impossible Fallout, which I love. I love that movie. I love Mission Impossible movies. But what was he supposed to do? What was he supposed to do? What, he couldn't shave the mustache because Paramount would not let him shave it. So, what was he supposed to do? And, Yeah. So, in all fairness, yeah. And I, I love the comedy in this one. And I love, what I love the most is how, is they did it with, uh, with, uh, uh, I think they did it with Batman v Superman Dawn Justice. I'm not for sure. I know they did it with, with Justice League. They did it in Justice League. I think they did it in Wonder Woman. Uh, but I know they did it in Justice League. They left it open for a sequel. They left it open for a sequel as far as, like, the ending because they the ending is fantastic. Because I love when movies, like, you watch the entire movie and you go through the entire credits and you get this special ending at the end of the credits. And I love when they do that. And Justice League did it perfectly and it set itself up for a, like, a another Justice League movie or a villainous, like, Injustice League, or, like, or Le Legion of Doom, or, or any kind of, like, uh, villainous movie, because of, just because of the ending, and I was a little disappointed with the ending, just because one part of the ending, one part of the secret ending, uh, I wanted to see more, and I didn't get to see more, but, you know, it is what it is, and I love Justice League, I love Jason Momoa, Gal Gadot, Ezra Miller, uh, I can't remember the other dude's name, Ray Fisher, uh, Diane Lane, Henry Cavill, Gal Gadot, Amy Adams, I love all these people in here, I just don't like Batman, Batman, yeah, I don't like Batman, but I, I understand why people like him, I just don't, so that's why Batman was not on this list. But if you want to binge binge watch Batman movies, go go ahead. But these are the superhero movies that I would recommend. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell because I'm actually going to be doing on Friday. A week from, uh, well not a week from today. Because I'm filming, filming this on a Friday. Uh, but... On Friday, I'm going to be doing a, a gaming video where I play, I was able to find it online, The Game of Life. I, I never had this game growing up, but I do remember my best friend had it. And I went over to her house one time, and I was going to watch, I was going to play it with her, but her mom said no, because my mom was about to show up, and they wanted to find, like, a really quick game for us to play. So, uh, we didn't get to play it, so I was like... I'm going to look for it online, see if, like, you can play, like, an online version, because I've seen Monopoly online, I've seen Battleship online, and I found it online, and I'm going to play it, because i played it a few times, and I'm going to play it for you, and hopefully you guys enjoy it, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you don't miss a single upload, stream, and hopefully I'm able to continue with this. Bye!